aerobic or cardio exercises to help boost immune health. Defining aerobic exercise. Merriam-Webster defines aerobic as relating to or being activity which increases the body's demand for oxygen, thereby resulting in marked temporary increase in respiration and heart rate. It's essentially any exercise that increases how fast you breathe and how fast your heart is beating, while still maintaining your ability to breathe. The connection to immune health. Aerobic exercise benefits the immune system because the increased respiration helps move bacteria out of the lungs and airways that could otherwise stay still and build up to cause respiratory illness. The increased white blood cells and antibodies may detect illnesses earlier as they move throughout the body with increased heart rate and blood flow. The increased body temperature that results from exercise may help prevent bacteria from growing because the temperature helps the body fight off any infection like a fever does. So let's start with the recommendations. The American Heart Association suggests adults get at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity or 75 minutes of vigorous activity or a combination of both throughout the week. They also suggest adding moderate to high intensity muscle strengthening activities like resistance or weight training twice a week. This can be small weights like cans or modified body weight exercises like I discussed in the arm exercise video previously. Of course, the biggest one is to spend less time sitting. Even light intensity activities can be beneficial. Gradually increase the amount and intensity over time to prevent injuries and harm to your body. Before you start a new exercise routine, the American College of Sports Medicine has three questions for you to consider. What is your current activity level? Do you have any signs or symptoms of a certain disease like cardiovascular disease? What is the planned exercise intensity? If you do not have any signs or symptoms or a diagnosis of cardiovascular disease, or if it's being managed by a doctor, you're generally safe to start with moderate activity. What about those who haven't been active? The American Heart Association suggests setting a goal below the recommended 150 minutes and slowly increasing your time as you get stronger and are able to maintain your previous goal. Any amount of time is better than none. If you have a chronic condition or disability, talk to your doctor and decide what the best and safest plan is for your needs. Getting started. So now that you know the guidelines and safety precautions, here are some great examples of moderate intensity exercises. Taking a brisk walk, dancing like Zumba, gardening, playing tennis, biking, and even household chores like mopping and vacuuming. More is not better in this case. It is possible to overexercise and overwork your body. Like everything, moderation is key. Individuals who already exercise don't need to exercise more just to increase their immune system. Excessive long-term exercise like marathon running and intense gym training can actually cause harm if proper rest and recovery are not met. Remember, these exercises may help boost your immune system, but they will not prevent you from getting sick. Many studies have proven, though, that those who meet the guidelines for aerobic exercise have shorter illness times or even less severe symptoms. Thanks for watching!